The Xbox One Smart Glass app is out now, you know, a couple days before the Xbox One actually launches. And you can uh, log in and configure it and do all that good stuff. And just on its own, Xbox One Smart Glass app is not that fascinating or interesting, but underneath the surface, Xbox One just launched an entire social network on the equivalent of Twitter for Xbox Live. Um, previously on the Xbox 360 and on the Xbox original, I guess we're calling it now, uh, you could only have 100 friends. But now on the Xbox One, you can follow people in addition to having a thousand mutual friends. Like of what, what a friend is now on the Xbox One is um, you're both friends with each other. But now I can, ha like anybody that's watching this video can follow me in the same way that you can follow me on Twitter, which is a pretty huge step forward from their old system. And I, I hope it turns out to be as, uh, as interesting as I think it potentially could be. Uh, so if you want to follow me on Xbox One, uh, the, this app is out now. On, uh, you can actually get it on Windows 8. Uh, on, I'm on the iPhone right now. It's on the iPhone and iPad. It's on Android and Windows Phone, but who the fuck has a Windows Phone? Um, so let's actually see how this works. So if you want to follow me, you go to the little friends thing, find friends, and then I'm going to guess that Major Nelson is probably the most followed person on this right now. So let's follow him. Yeah, he's got 4,569 followers, and this app was just released last night. So if I hit add friend, uh, I'm the 4,570th follower of his. And that means like when I'm looking at leaderboards, when I'm playing Dead Rising or any other game, uh, that his name will also show up there. And then, but I, I'm just a follower. But if he in turn sends me a friend request, then I'll be an official friend. And I can like, I think, I don't know, actually, I don't know what other functionality that adds, but that'll be interesting to figure out when the Xbox One actually releases. So you can see his recent activity. He's playing Forza. You can pin the game so that as soon as the Xbox One comes out, you can actually download it. Forza Motorsport 5 tokens, uh, in-game purchases, uh -huh, of course. Now, let's take a look at the achievements on here, actually, because this caught my attention. I was flipping through this before. Um, so I don't have any achievements, so. I have to play some games first, but they have these challenges, which is a new feature that they actually haven't advertised, which are like uh, time sensitive challenges for every game. So on FIFA 14, uh, they have this challenge and they don't really tell you what the, oh, in-game reward, EASFC rewards. I don't even know what that is, but if you play on five online matches within the next nine days, you get this extra little reward. Instead of just achievement points, you get direct in-game rewards. Now, this I thought was, uh, kind of blew my mind. Now, Crackle has challenges. And Crackle is not a game. It's a video watching service, like Netflix or Hulu. Watch every episode of the show featuring horseless carriages, cafes, and whimsical laughter. So there's challenges for watching TV. What will Xbox come up with next? Fucking crazy, right? Anyway, uh, and then the last thing is, uh, when if you set this up now, when your Xbox One actually gets here to connect it, there's this little connect icon on the very top, and it just says tap, and you just tap that, and then it searches and scans for consoles on your network, but I don't have one yet, so. Uh, but I will on Friday. So uh, thanks for checking out the Xbox One little preview of the Xbox One Glass app. And uh, if you'd like to, be sure to follow me. Wow, I already have more followers and friends. Um, follow me on Xbox One. Thanks for watching. Game on.